everyone, what's up? Hurricane Liz here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you what keywords are hot right this very moment in Amazon. And while some of them are gonna be blatantly obvious, like Valentine's Day, we've talked about in this video series previously that sometimes doing anti-Valentine's does a lot better than Valentine's because you are one of the outliers out there that decided to take effort to do this. But today, hopefully you get more ideas like that and a heck of a lot more. And I'm super fired up to see what's heating up the charts inside Amazon. I hope you're fired up, so let's go ahead and do this. All right, so here we are. Uh, looking and seeing what is hot on Amazon. And obviously the number one hottest term right now is Valentine's Day gifts for him, which was quite surprising for me, considering you'd figure that more men would be getting their women gifts and more men wouldn't have a clue as to what to get their women. But I guess a lot of women also suffer from not knowing what the hell to get for their guy. And so it was surprising to me, but at, now that I think about it, not so much. And since Valentine is going to light up these charts, I thought it would be interesting to see anything else that might have stuck out other than that. And maybe to give us some hints as to what to make in both our print on demand products as well as our books and so forth. So the biggest things I see are things like LED lights for bedroom, Valentine's Day gift, also Valentine's Day gifts for kids. And that's really the main things that stood out. However, the great thing about having access to this kind of data is that you can also search individual keywords. So I thought it'd be interesting to see what are the hottest t-shirts right now, as well as what are the hottest coloring books. And then lastly, throw in a couple of longer term type products that a lot of people look over and don't even pay close attention to. So let's go ahead and start by going ahead and looking at the keyword coloring books. So we're gonna just start with coloring books and then we're gonna take it into some t-shirts and then lastly, we'll round it out with something like log books or something of that nature. And then in the next time that I do this video, if you guys below would let me know what kind of search you would like me to do, put those terms below in the questions and I will make a list of that. And next time I do this, depends on how many words I get, I will certainly search those live so you guys can see what pops up. So adult coloring books, no surprise, coloring books for kids, but let's see if we can find anything more specific. Toddlers, we've talked about breaking down books for different sub niches of people. And here are mini coloring books, which is kind of interesting. Obviously that would be impossible to make, but here are stoner coloring books and then particularly adult coloring books for men. So I guess the men feel like they're not getting a lot of love and the ladies out there are looking for coloring books for their men. So an example of some good stuff about this would be a stoner coloring book or even the greatest thing that I've seen yet was when someone created that boob journal that had no boobs inside. Why not a coloring book for men with women showing off their boobs? I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying what I think would sell. Coloring books for kids ages four to eight. And you can see that I quickly changed the subject. However, I think guys would like that. Coloring books for seniors, Valentine coloring books right there. That's a fantastic keyword as is coloring books for women. And then let's see if we see anything else interesting that stands out, a funny adult coloring books. But let's go all the way to the bottom for a term that potentially might not even be looked at. Here are coloring books, animals, which we talked about, adult coloring book flowers, horse coloring books we've seen, Dover coloring books. I'm not sure if that's the name of a company or what it is. Uh, cute coloring books, Harry Potter coloring books, which we cannot make. Fashion coloring books, which we talked about constantly. And then here's the very last one, psychedelic adult coloring books, and then adult coloring book patterns, which kind of just reminds me of those damn mandalas, which you guys have heard me complain about in the past, but there it is. Adult coloring books for women with colored pencils. That's a term that not a lot of people would use, but it probably applies to about 99% of the books that you're actually creating out there. And then lastly, we'll go ahead and talk about coloring book for teen girls. So again, specifically making it for a demographic of people that not a lot of people would think about, which teen girls would be one of them. So, all right, let's look at another term here. We looked at coloring books. Let's look at something very general. We're gonna look at log books now. And then after that, we'll look at t-shirts. All right, so here we go with the log books. Let's see, there's a lot fewer, so we can literally almost go through every single one, but a pilot log book, like who in the hell would have ever thought to create a pilot log book? I certainly would have. I'm sure a lot of you smarty pants out there might've thought of it. Maybe you had it. Maybe a lot of you now wanna kick my ass because I uncovered it for the rest of all your KDP competitors, but there it is. Password logbook, we've seen that. Internet address and password logbook with tabs. That's very interesting. Like maybe, I'm not sure how you can incorporate that because obviously that one calls for tabs, but at least you guys know that people are out there searching for them. Uh, for this long tail keyword, which is ridiculously long. It's about as long as the Mississippi, and I'll tell you that much, I would have never thought to include that 
in my keywords ever. So we got logbook aviation, which seems to be all the buzz lately. I'm not sure if there's a record number of pilots or what, but maybe pilots really use this shit, but logbook aviation and pilot logbook both popping up, as well as the camping journal and RV travel logbook, the diabetic logbook. And again, here's another one that's internet password logbook with alphabetical tabs, not just any tab, but alphabetical ones. That gets a pretty decent amount of thing. I don't know what this Jepson one is, but we've got more internet password logbooks. We've got a FNAF survival logbook, and I've talked about having some sort of survival guide in previous videos, but this obviously, I don't know what the FNAF organization is, but I'm pretty sure if somebody doesn't buy an FNAF one, they would certainly buy one from you if it looks sexier and if it has a lot more useful things in it. WTF is my password logbook. Wow, that actually gets some volume. I'm surprised about that. Here again is another Jepson pilot logbook and then a work hours logbook. And then finally rounding out is the RV journal and camping logbook, which again, we've seen that twice, but with such a long tail keyword, I'm not sure if any of you have tried to use that or now that I've showed you this, I'm not sure how many of you could put that together. I'm sure a good majority of you can slap it up there on Amazon as it's getting a pretty decent amount of searches. So that is it for logbook. Let's go to put t-shirt. I know a lot of you guys sell t-shirt, but let's find out what all the rage is right now with t-shirts. So here we go. Obviously the ones at the top are gonna be very general and they're also gonna be things that are potentially branded. Like we got Metallica, we got Led Zeppelin. But if we really scroll down here and we look at the bottom, we got a lot of Kansas City t-shirts, probably uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneer t-shirts. But here we go. Let's see, we get a fishing t-shirt, which is pretty up, much up there and it has a pretty decent amount of searches. But let's keep going further and see what we see here um, and see if anything stands out. A libertarian t-shirt, which I think is a political party, but don't quote me on that. I know nothing about politics. I don't even pretend to. I really don't give a shit what's going on out there. As sad as that is to say, but hey, so be it. T-shirt packaging supply for small business. I'm not sure what that is. All right, so let's see what else we see. Funny t-shirt. Obviously, that's not something we want to go to for. A bullet club t-shirt. Not sure what that is. Coming to America t-shirt. A Columbia t-shirt, which is interesting. Here's a Bernie t-shirt is pretty hot. And we are still seeing a lot of t-shirts that are branded or potentially have some sort of trademark infringing properties on them. So I'm going to keep going and see what else we see. I don't know who the Lee Ho Fuchs is. So if somebody could tell me that below, obviously sometimes I'm like an old timer, like I have no idea what that is. Well, I certainly don't. Fully vaccinated t-shirt women. I don't ac actually know what that is. Teacher t-shirt and Valentine t-shirt for women as well as I can show you some trash t-shirt. I'm not sure what that means, but again, this is a fantastic tool to be able to use and to go through here and there. And that's why, as I said before, if you post what you want me to search next time below, I will certainly get on that and show you guys exactly what pops up for your term live on here. So here we go. More than one gender t-shirt, dresses for women. That's obviously not something we can do. American flag t-shirt, a uh, fuck you t-shirt, men. <laughs> so I know what that is. Let's go ahead and try one last thing. Let's put Valentine's up here. Since it is Valentine's, we are coming up to Valentine's and let's see what's selling well for Valentine's. And here we got the gifts for him. Uh, obviously when we search something like Valentine's, we get a lot of good gifting keywords that we can stuff in our back end during the Valentine's season as to raise our sales and potentially get some people looking for things like that. But we got gift baskets for Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day box, Valentine's Day gift for your best friend. So that's a perfect example of something that you can put together in a diary or a journal. Valentine's Day cards for kids, for mom, uh, Valentine, men's Valentine's Day gifts as we talked about is really huge. Here's Valentine's for toddlers. Here's uh, Valentine's Day crafts for kids. So that could certainly go into your Scissor Skills Valentine's book. And then we've got Valentine's gifts for kids and a lot more things. Uh, let's look at one other term. Let's look at something like a journal. Since we obviously see a lot of journals, it's still the beginning of the year. And as we know, during the beginning of the year, journals are hot. So let's take a look at that and let's scroll down and get down into the nitty gritty. Here's a great one, couples journal. So a couples journal is a great thing to put together for a couple so they can use together. And that's also a great Valentine's Day gift. So that could almost be combined, but you can get a lot of ideas like that from here. A poetry journal, let's see what else pops up a moon journal. Obviously people are searching for moon journals. That is a very good SFR, which is at 151,969. Remember the lower that number is, that means that the actual search term is extremely popular. One being the most popular. And then this goes on up to about 1.5 million. So bu bucket list journal is great. That's another fantastic one. And then we can continue to go on and see what else pops up. The Bible journal for women. Obviously that is something that's quite popular. Writing prompts journal. 
I believe it said right here. That's another great one. And if we keep going, we can find some more. Burn Book Journal. I think that's something that's branded, but I'm not 100% certain, so don't quote me on that. But if we keep going uh, for a little bit longer, we'll see what else pops up. Best Self Journal. Here's a journal for women with prompts. So obviously journals with prompts are extremely popular, and I would have never known that had I not seen this. And I think I kind of already knew it. We talked about it being hot in covers. Well, here takes it a step further. This is more like a Mad Libs for women, and we all know that women need them because there's some crazy people out there. I'm not just going to say it's women, but there are some crazy people that need to write this shit out instead of playing it out in real life. And let's go a couple more. And here's a writer's journal, an ESV scripture journal. So I'm not sure what that is, but that's very specific. So that obviously would be extremely specific if you were to create one. And chances are you would be able to sell that if it's not branded. And let's look at a couple more here and see what else pops up. NIV journal, the word Bible, not sure what that is. But here's a fit journal, a bullet journal method, a gratitude journal for teens and a dream life manifestation journal. Like I said, we could do this for hours and hours and days and days and never run out of ideas. But again, that's why I need your help. I need you to post below what ideas you have so that on the next video, I just search those instead of the more general terms. So other than that, let me know your questions and comments below. I always personally answer them and I'll see you next time with the hot five KDP niches of the week.